Just a fast program, 96 Rod Ember here. I think I found a part of the problem here. That's right. Delvin, how you doing, buddy? Give me that flying faith disc. Check it out. It's cool. We got some interesting topics or some interesting people. What are they? That's right. We got Star Spec and the Meditations with Milo. All right. That's right. Craig's on camera. This is camera one. Hey, Craig. How are you? Colin is on camera, too. And we're also brought to you by Look Behind the Movie, starring Kurt Cameron and uh, Pat, uh, Pat. That's uh, Brad, Brad, Brad Johnson. Brad Johnson. That, you ever feel like somebody's watching you? I heard so. Anyway, that's what brought to you by Left Behind. And guess what? What are the topics there? Odie. Hey, hey, we're on. Hey, today for topics, we've got, hey, The Lost World, Mortal Kombat, and Judge It For Yourself. And what does it all mean? Nine. That's right. We also got the Facts and the Faith Challenge, which is on the screen. The Facts and Faith Challenge is a good one. We'll have the real deal coming up a little bit later. Stay there. What is freedom anyways? I mean, man, we scream about it all the time. I want to be free! But free from what, though? I mean, if we are free from something and then run into another set of bondage, were we truly free? The truth about freedom is this. In order to be free from something, they had to be in a place where your well-being was not even considered. And then move to a place where your well-being is truly the top priority. You see? To be truly free, you must know the truth, even more than you know the lie. God has your ultimate well-being in mind, and that is the truth. Are you ready for it? The Maxim Bay Challenge, if God has given us eternal life, then why do we still die? Shot number one was, because God doesn't like us. Absolutely not. No, sir. That's right. Don't keep out. Stay here, Delvin. We got a good topic. Have you seen Clark? I was looking for him all over the left place left here. I, oh, maybe he was left behind in the lost, the lost world. world. The lost world. Oh, my. Air-powered elevators blow up buildings and lift humanoids to new levels. This is news with an attitude. Rod knows all, an award-winning journalist, therefore I'm hot and you're not. The Windy City. From the heights of superstructures all over the world, it's a problem with elevators that has kept us from building buildings higher than 2,000 feet. Apparently, the elevator cables become too heavy to lift humanoids to these astronomical levels. You know, this whole thing is unbelievable. To the rescue. A novel idea that comes from the aerial mind of engineer John Achi. With the latest in air compression technology, we can now make elevators suspended in super airtight tubes and use compression to lift human beings to new levels. Be good in that thing? That's what we're here for. I don't know. The way these things speed around, we might just get in there and all it goes. That's a chance we take. Now, we can create superstructures beyond 2,000 feet with the ability to compress human life to new heights. It's unthinkable, but it must be true. A man took some tools and went where no human being had ever set foot. One small problem. From recently conducted tests, apparently there are difficulties in slowing the elevators down and stopping them. There have been some unmentionable accidents. You see? You see? You're stupid minds. Stupid. Stupid. is falling because we got some hot stuff coming your way. In fact, it's so hot, let's take a look at the data on the screen. And the data says something like this. It comes from the Book of Beginnings, and the Book of Beginnings is a good book, and it says this. One day in the resting place, that's known as the Garden of Eden, the resting place, the woman being was alone and was hanging out in the dangerous place next to the black hole of knowledge of death. Why do you do that? Explain that to me. Why? 
And the dark evil being with no arms and no legs couldn't reach out and grab the woman, but he could talk really, really good. And the woman didn't know the true word of God, only what her husband told her. That's a mistake because it had some errors in it. But the evil being knew the Bible. And so he had the upper hand and he convinced the woman to take a hold of the knowledge of death. And she did Genesis chapter 3. And the rest is history because we have a problem. It's called original sin. And she created something and she did something that we now live in. And that's a problem. That's why this is plan B. But this makes me think about, about true vision. Delvin, what's the true vision on this? The true vision is pretty simple. The world is lost because humans dropped it. We had a chance for greatness, but our uh, rebellion stopped it. That's right. Rebellion stopped our chance for greatness. But wait a minute. There is another chance coming your way, and it's in the true voice of reason. Roger, Houston. Copy. We have a voice of reason. Space and here. <laughs> what about that smoke from the shuttle, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, what is the true voice of reason on this film? True voice of reason is pretty simple, guys. Check this one out. Some things in life position you to lose, but hey, hold on, baby, because now you got a choice to choose. You can choose. It's absolutely true, Delvin. You can choose. Yeah. They can choose. We're going to be talking about that. Hey, we got control room. What's the next topic? Right. Hey, Rod, next we've got Mortal Kombat? That's weird, dude. A lot of people say the only thing worth watching is what you can see. Well, just a minute on that. Just a minute now. She's going to blow. Here we go. Okay, check it out. Pyro by Rod. There you go. Check it out. This baby's going to go and tell us something very interesting. A lot of people say the only, worth, only thing worth believing is what you can see, but we can put it right out. Bring in the data. Let me show you something very interesting. Everyone who activates faith reaches beyond the confines of the four dimensions of space and time. That's Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Now check it out. You might get a lot of spectacular effects from things you can see and things you can like. But the reality is, if you activate faith in your life by reaching out for your creator, there's a whole lot more things beyond the four dimensions that you can access. I'm Rod Hemmer here talking to you about something even more real than space and time. It's called Faith. Get in it by getting in the Data Master. Challenge if God has given us eternal life, then why do we still die? Shot one was because God doesn't like this. Shot two was because God doesn't care. Absolutely not. Hey, Delvin, we would never lower ourselves to placement here on Just the Facts. Never. But uh, what's the next one? Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Have you seen Cliff? I haven't Cliff? seen him at all. Cliff! 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 Cliff. In Mary Shelley's Frankenstein story, the mystical force of lightning was used to awake dead tissue and bring it to life.
The result was a soulless monster who followed his creator wherever he went and eventually killed him. Electricity was used in the fictional story to wake up dead tissue and bring the monster to life. The power came from lightning. Electricity is an unseen force, yet powerful. In ancient times, and even today, cult worshippers believe lightning is a force thrown by the angry gods. But the Law of Moses and the Bible never claims atmospheric disturbances are anything except the natural events which God had set in motion and could control. Lightning is the workings of our atmosphere. As clouds form and a storm brews, the electrons in the air shake loose from their atoms. The result is a buildup of electrical force in the skies. When lightning strikes, this is an electrical discharge. It's a gigantic atmospheric battery shorting to the earth. Unseen forces make people do some strange things, which is why it's important to know and understand what they are and who is behind them. At any given time, there are 3,500 storms brewing with 300 bolts of lightning striking. I fix this computer, I think I'm going to have to do some reconstruction. Just wipe the thing out again and start all over again. Brings me to the topic, brings me to the data, put it on the screen, and it says this. It's from Genesis chapter 6. Lost world mortal combat in the days of great man Noah. Population began to increase. And there were some strange happenings going on in planet Earth. Beings that were connected to the dark side of the spiritual world. Ah! We're creating marriages with women on planet Earth and corrupting the genetics of humankind. Now this made the God of the universe angry, yes so, and the one true God frustrated and angry that his people were being destroyed and corrupted. So, God engaged mortal combat with mortals. There was a strange race of super strong men who were the results of these unholy marriages. And let me tell you something, unholy they absolutely were. That is Genesis chapter six. Now listen to me very carefully. God had to start over again. So I had to do something, I had to sort of clean up the genetic DNA structure of the earth. That's what the flood was all about. Delvin, tell me about the true vision. The true vision is simply this, guys. God is the giver of life. You know, the only reason why he floods the plain is to end the strife. That's absolutely correct, you see. The problem is that there was a problem with humankind being taken over by evil, and we'll talk about that later on in the program, but let's take a look at the true voice of reason, which also talks about why God strikes time and space. The voice of reason! Hey, where's my mule? Wow! He's still looking for his mule. That guy's been doing it for a long time, Bond. What is a what is a true voice of reason here, Delvin? I want to know what that is. You know, the true voice of reason is really cool, guys. God always, 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 always acts in grace. You know, even though he does sometimes strike our time and our space. And sometimes he does strike time and space. In fact, the Bible says God disciplines those he loves. And that's exactly what happened in this particular situation. Yep. More on that. But what about the next topic? Odie, what is it? Hey, hey, Rod, next we've got Judge for Yourself. Here we go. challenge if God has given us eternal life, then why do we still die? One, because God doesn't like us. Two, because God doesn't care. Three, what's the matter with you? God's mad at you. No, absolutely not. That's not it. That's not it. Hey, you seen Cliff, man? I'm still looking for him. We have no idea. We don't know where Cliff. But you know what the topic is? Yeah. Judges for yourself. Dog Cliff, is. while we're watching this, where's Cliff? <laughs> Cliff? Cliff! Back. Cliff! Oh, judge for yourself! Cliff! 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 <laughs> Cliff! <laughs> to another edition of Meditations with Milo, brought to you by the only genetically synthesized milk 
that's not really milk, but it is radioactive. Oh, wow, man. Meditations with Milo is brought to you by Cyber Milk It, the world's first genetically engineered synthetic milk drink that's highly radioactive, but really, really fun to make. Okay, now down to business. Hey, man. Like I was burning down the barn the other day and I got a really groovy idea. Oh, wow, man. Hey, check out my thoughts, man. Cool, this mind editing stuff. Anyway, with all the genetic discovery and genome mapping going on, I decided to discover something. Oh, wow, man. So, with the help of a friend I met in a detention center, I discovered what I could discover. Hey, it's time to meet the guy who made me a real scientist. He's really smart. He's got a big brain. I call him Slice. Oh, wow, man. Hey, Slice, how's it going? Milo, what you been drinking, man? Never mind about that, Slice. Tell the people what I'm going to discover, man. Now, look here. Sai. Give my desk. Oh, are you nasty? Science ah! discovered some serious stuff back in the day. For example, two whacked out science guys named James Watson and Francis Crick discovered that every living thing is made up of cells. I see, Milo. Even your brain's got cells in it with patterns and instructions. Oh, wow, man. But of course, you've been cooking something for a little too long. Anyway, these instructions are known by us more intellectual types as dioxyribonucleic acid. This stuff is wild and powerful. It's the blueprint for your life. Every physical aspect of your body is controlled by the DNA. Okay, okay, man. Enough about that. It's time for my discovery. Check it out. Since everything in life come here, is shown by DNA and even directed by DNA, and even your thoughts of God are from DNA. Oh, wow, man. Here's what I'm going to do, man. So check it out, whoever you are. I'm going to broadcast my thought of God from Milo's DNA to the universe. Yo, Milo, what's this thought of God anyways? Glad you asked. Roll it. Now presenting Milo's Thought of God. Since it's everything, everything you, are you are is in your DNA, then God is in your DNA. He, he has already, already programmed, programmed you. you. Just relax. Don't take any responsibility for what you do or who you think God is because it's only natural to go with your DNA. So what do you think? Cool, eh? Milo, the only thing you discovered is how to be like an animal, man. Hey, God made me that way. I just have to go with it, man. Besides, you're getting paid, so throw the switch to the transmitter, man. Watch this. Yeah, not enough, though. Lurk, what's going on? I don't know, Admiral. I'm watching Star Trek Voyager. Ask Spark. Hmm. Admiral, it seems we've encountered a strange digital signal. I'm decoding it now. What is it, Spark? It's another thought of God. And this time it's in HDTR. Does it get junkyard wards like on TLC? Uh, Spark, contact the Agents of Truth. And ask for help. Attention, agents of truth. We seek your help on how to handle this thought of God from the strange creature, Milo. If you can help us, log on to www.thestreamtv.com, all one word, thestreamtv.com, and offer your response to the thought of gods. Thank you. And the arm bone's connected to the shoulder bone, but let's figure what this means with Star Spec and Judge Dredd and all that kind of stuff, or Red Dalton. What, uh, what's this about, man? Tell me. Hey, this is the vision right here, guys. In God's judgment, he's 
always present. He's always near and never absent. Very, very interesting. In other words, every time God judges in a situation, he's always present yeah. to make sure that if you want to, you can, in fact, repent yeah, and change your ways. Way. Very, very interesting. Stay there. We'll be back. You know, a lot of people say God's nothing more than a bunch of smoke and mirrors. Just a minute on that. Here we go. Hey, check it out. God is a lot more than smoke and mirrors. A lot of people say you're afraid of God because he's so big. Well, just a minute on that. Check this out. Bring it on in the data. Ryan has the data. Check it out. It says this. God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1.7. This happens to be one of my favorite passages in the data master. You say, Rob, why is that? Because it reveals the true nature of God when he interacts with our soul. You see, God wants to make us people who don't fear. God wants to make us people who love. God wants to make us better people. You know, fear and anxiety only end in more fear. Well, let me tell you something. God wants you to move beyond your fear. You say, how do you do that? Get in the data master. That's God's character. Check it out. If God has given us eternal life, then why do we still die? That's a question one kid asked me one time. a good question. Shot number one was this. Because God doesn't like us. No, that's not it. Shot number two was because God doesn't care. No, everything in the Bible tells us God does care. That's a data master. And number three, because God's mad at you. You know, a lot of people walk around with a chip on their shoulder and they think God's mad at them all the time. Well, no, here's the real deal. Check it out. And the real deal says this. Death is a result of rebellion with God, and we learned about that in Genesis chapter 1. God, the Creator, has another place where there is no death, and that's what Jesus Christ is all about, man. Do you get it? So, Delvin, we are, in fact, going to talk about the three topics we talked about. Delvin, what was the first topic, man? The first topic was this. It was the lost world. Remember, the second one there was Mortal Kombat, and the third one was Judges for yourself. Now remember that the lost world, we're in plan B, Delvin. We're not in plan A. That's right. You know, early man, which was Adam and Eve, they sinned and they fell and they really messed up the plan. Oh, man. They well, let evil in. Yep. They kicked God out. Right. So that messed up everything. That set up a problem. Number two, Mortal Kombat. In some cases, it got so bad right. that evil actually took over our free will. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have things like the flood. That's right. Because God had to in. strike everything down. That's right. But there is a way out, though. That is, way out. which brings us to judges for yourself. And we saw that in Star Spec where you meet judges. We get this justice thing all messed up. You see, God is not fair. Let's listen to me because if God was fair, we'd all be toast. Exactly. But God is not fair. See, because God gives us mercy, man. It's right. You know that. That's a good thing, though. It, too, it is. Because we have a second chance. And that's what we mean when we say that one called Jesus Christ is the second Adam. So that's what we're talking about. Yeah. And it's very, very important for people to understand that there's a destiny in those plans. See, that's got a... I got a chip on my shoulder, man. Chip on my shoulder. 
Okay, but Agents of Truth, you talk about this in Agents of Truth, right? Right. Agents of Truth. Tell us quickly about Agents of Truth, man. Agents of Truth, guys, is a program that we're, we put together for you so that you can know the truth of God's Word. So listen, amidst all this chaos and all this stuff that's going on, the fact the world's lost and all this stuff, we realize as Agents of Truth that, gets, guess what? God has made a way for us. And we go through the scriptures and learn how to find the truth in there so that we can be victorious and win on all our situations. And it's online. It's a live online. That's right. Daily Data Master thing. And where's it at, man? Where can they find it? If you go to the streamtv.com, you'll see at the bottom there it says Agents of Truth. Click it and click it one more time. And guess what? You'll see the Agents of Truth. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be awesome. In fact, you, you wrote the music for that, didn't you? I did. I all did. Right. Go, Delvin. Go, Delvin. Go, go. All right. <laughs> He wrote the music for that, Agents of Truth. It's all about bringing you closer to the data master. We're all excited about that. Yeah. And we've been looking for clips. Speaking about looking at things, look at this. Left Behind is a look, great movie. It's beautiful. It started in February. And you know what? We've been looking for Cliff. Where is Cliff, man? Cliff, where are you? Cliff! 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 Hey. Oh, there's Cliff! He's right there! You've been there! <laughs> Cliff, have you been there all along? Hey, they left What's me. It? They left me behind. Oh, thank you. I listen to that. Left by you to see how that's how it works, you know. Sometimes God is right in front of you the whole, there, time, the whole time. And you don't see the obvious, uh, right? And that's, that's what happened here. Sorry about that, Cliff. Oh, we didn't tell you that, you know, you're gonna have to stay there all night, Cliff. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down now. Now, let me tell you something, Cliff, Cliff, man, he's a he's a good guy. So everybody send an email to Cliff at the stream TV .com. At, The only way you can get out of this cardboard thing of left by Look at Kirk Cameron's head. I've never seen. That's a big head, man. That's nice. That's <laughs> it's a nice head, though. Hey, we like Kirk Cameron. He's a good and guy. And look at Brad anyway. Johnson here, too. Hey, Brad. Let's, uh, Brad, how's it going, Hi, buddy? Brad. But why is his head bigger than... Never mind. Anyway, yeah. look, here's... <laughs> I'm just... It's a joke. I'm kidding. It's a joke, okay? So anyway, remember this, man. This program is all about showing you how God is talking to you and how we've been talking about this with the lost world. Mortal Kombat, right. and also judges, judges for, for yourself. yourself. God has made a way for you out, but in order to find God, and in order to find His character, you have to get in the Data Master, which is a fancy name for... The Bible! That's right, and you can do that through Agents of Truth, which you can find on... On the StreamTV.com, guys. A live, online, daily, weekly assignment on Agent of Truth. You they should it. become an Agent of Truth. Yeah, you should. All right, become an Agent of Truth. In the meantime, Devin and I are saying, hey, stay in God's Word because He's talking to you. Are you listening, man? Place. You know what, Delvin, what's really interesting about this is the true voice of reason says what? It says this, guys. You know, God always acts in grace. You know, through... Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> stinker. Okay. All sorry. right. God always acts with grace. I'm still trying to figure it out, but it does mean something very important. Delvin, what's the true voice of reason on the this thing? True voice of reason is this, guys. In God's judgment, he is never... Ever, he's... He's always present, okay. not never present. <laughs> That's okay, no problem. Still trying to figure out the problem, so what is the problem? Maybe Delvin can help us out with the true voice of reason. Delvin! Here it is, buddy, here. In God's judgment, God is always present. He's always there and never and absent. Never absent. Don't never stop. absent. Milo's DNA thought of God is endorsed by the advocate for eliminating any form of responsibility from your life foundation. Not responsible for death, total property, or lifelong emotional trauma.